Hello ladies and jelly beans, I'm Melanie Florence and this is Hot Tea for the Soul. This is the hot, hot tea edition where we squeeze the juice out of the universe about your relationships, right? Right, so this is a partnership reading where we do some cards for the, you and them and for the middle of your relationship. Where it's come from, where it's at, where it might be going. Got a few other decks and a few other energies. So, in lieu of doing an actual pick a card, what I'm doing is two readings. So you'll see I've got two sweet hot teas out and they're for your self-love if you're looking for those they'll be in the links but i've also got a reading out that is another hot hot tea which is with the light seers tarot and the muse tarot right and surrounding decks around that so if that's what you're after i think you're a bit more muse this is like a witch's brew this has got the uh, modern witch and this has got the uh, modern witch and oh the oh it's a fey oracle an oracle oracle from lucy cavendish so this is going to be a little bit more fey a bit more witchy if you uh, think that you're a bit more muse tarot and light seers tarot, head into the descriptions and you'll find the link in there and so instead of a pick a pile you got a whole reading for your own because picking it up and putting it away isn't necessarily my bag keep going right so here we are with this this is a hot hot tea so some juice about you and some juice about them and what's in the middle what's the juice in the middle of your relationship right so I've got a few decks out. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with, um, what is this? Uh, the Starseed, the Starseed Oracle. All right, let's give us one from the Starseed. Whoa, okay. Perception, perspective, perspective, perspective. How big are we? How small are we? How part are we? How part of it? None of this matters. Zoom in or out, common ground. All right. So there are things that matter. Don't sweat the small stuff, right? It's all about perspective. All right. It's all about perspective. So we can zoom in on things and we can zoom out on things. What's the common ground? What's the common ground between us all? All right. And this big wide world of ours. What's the common ground between you and them? Like you and your partner? You and your relationships? All right. It's all about perspective. Maybe look at it from a different angle. What angle? All right, we're going to look at it with the. Uh, this is. Oh, this is such a cool. This is beyond Lemuria. Ooh, air. Yeah. Paradigm shift. All right, it's paradigm shift of the mind, the perspective. All right, so maybe somebody's changed their mind. Maybe we're thinking differently to what we were before. We're doing this in this partnership. We're looking at it from a different perspective. We zoom in our relationship, we zoom out. What's the common ground you've got, right? But there's a paradigm shift. Something has changed. Sometimes this color of this card changes depending on where I put it. All right, but this is, you know, keeping focus on your pole star, what's in the middle energy in there. Okay, I'm going to give us one from the hidden, hidden world. Hidden world, I thought. Also Lucy Cavendish. Got the fairy decks of her. Alright, what have we got out there? Take the leap. Ecstasy, bliss, belief. Right, so something might have been holding you back. Something might have been holding the situation back, right? And there's been a lot of air, there's been a paradigm shift, it wasn't, there's mind perspective change, a transition. All right, but this is about a leap of faith, this is our joy card, this is our innocence card, jumping out there. Maybe you need to change your perspective in general, get outside the fishbowl in it all. But there's a leap of faith, belief, you've got to believe in the ecstasy, you've got to believe in the bliss of it all. That's where this is at, right? So, let's do a little bit of shuffle up. So we're going to use the modern witch. I've plugged a headset in. I've changed my dynamic. You were on the floor in my bedroom in the love corner. Because we're in lockdown. I've changed it up a bit. All right. So three cards for you. How we got here. And then, whoa. How we got here. How we got here. Three cards for you. So we've got the six of cups. There's a reunion. All right. So how you come to this space. We're talking about reunion is about sometimes with your childhood dreams. Maybe with a sweetheart from the past. Maybe it's your family. All right, but this is reconnecting with your emotions from the past. Maybe dreams. Again, touch with dreams, but, you know, that cup coming from your family. Okay, and the Ace of Swords, all right? We're really talking and speaking our truth. Coming through, right? You're liberated. You're really talking about who you are, what you are, what you've got. Right? Maybe what these dreams are, what it is you're connected with. All right. One more for you. One more for you. How we got here? Really speaking the truth of your like where your love comes from like in your in your real grounded perspective maybe so you come into this expressing yourself expressing your heart maybe expressing 
a situation, communicating. Oh, and a new beginning. Like a, a, a this is like a, a the Ace of Pentacles. So this is like a um like a foundation. This is like a like a practical new beginning, a new path, maybe a new job, maybe a new way to make money. Like but coming into it like with new ideas about like how to make your practical world and how to make your physical world. So you're really communicating in here. Like and maybe what you want in this beginning as well. You, you and you've thought about it. These are these childhood things maybe. Really coming back and maybe that making money, communicating yourself, expressing yourself and making money. Alright, so this is you. All right, let's move you guys out of the road for a second. Because I reckon we'll need the full length of it all. What have we got? Where do we go down to? Here. All right. Here. All right, so. Because we'll, we'll need the full length. So. Them. Where are they at in this? What have we got in the middle energy? What have we got for them? All right, the Nine of Pentacles. They've been going through their traditions. They've been, they're on their own. They're independent. They're strong. They're financially, they're in their own independence. Like, and they're really working on their, they're one step away from, you know, that home and legacy and stuff, but they've really been working on their independence on a financial level, you know, really giving, like, like picking from their garden. They've waited for it to bloom and grow, and they're really getting a harvest from that now. Like, and they're sustained. They're sustainable. Of their own accord and that's where they're at so they came in with like a that's where they came in oh but with magic magic in the fingertips all right so they're ready to manifest they're ready to manifest on the physical plane all right so they're really strong in what they want and their physical desires like and you're communicating you know so they're coming in with this real like i'm gonna bring my heaven into onto earth and really manifest in the physical plane so they've got some magic in their fingertips they're in a growth period like being able to manifest this stuff Ooh, we are going to run out of space. Give me five, four, three. Yeah, let's not run out of space, hey? We'll come back to this stuff, right? Perspective. We've had a shift in our paradigm on the mental level. I'm going to bounce just a second. All right, but we've got enough room now. Okay. And so one more card for them. How did they come into this? Hmm... Alright, so they've got a bit of like the past, they've got an attraction to the world, but they're looking at these three cups of joy that's been knocked over in their life. So, you know, sometimes they've got some reserves and they might have been looking back at their past with a little bit of depression maybe, and maybe they're missing something where you, you, you're getting back from the past. They're looking back at it and going, there's a lot of loss inside of there regardless of the attraction. So they're manifesting by themselves, maybe because of the emotions and maybe the emotional connections and how that makes them feel. Like and the things and the relationships that they've been in the past and past like connections and stuff. All right, so that's you and them. Where's the middle energy? All right, we got just a tiny little bit more room. We do because we might need these cards are a little bit bigger. All right, a little bit of fairy, bit of wicca, bit of fairy, bit of witch, bit of fairy. Let's go. Three cards for the middle energy in here. Where's the middle ground? What is this middle ground, this common ground we're talking about for perspective? Because you're both coming from a different, you're expressing yourself and you're expressing your desires for a new beginning and it's connected perhaps with an old lover. They are standing in their own like and they want to manifest their desires but they still come from an emotional past. Tradition, nostalgic reflection. Am I still in that? This is sort of, maybe you guys are from a relationship from the past. This may be showing you like this nostalgic connection between you two. So have you sort of, where they're looking back and they're working out how to manifest their desires by themselves, right? All right, but there's a tradition inside of here and they're really looking wistfully, nostalgically to the past. This relationship looks... So perhaps this is past lovers that we're talking about. We're talking about a new... You were talking about a new relationship. You were talking about a new foundation. But they're standing really independent, wanting to manifest. And they're looking perhaps at the past failures emotionally, the bridges that they've crossed, right? Right, but there's a nostalgia inside of this. You guys are reflecting two more. And there they are. All right, the Wheel of Fortune. I'm taking two. I'm taking that one and that one. So we've got the teal Wheel of Fortune. Things change, right? Things have changed. We all know that. The wheel is moving, the motion of it. This is like, you know, this is spinning the wheel, the wheel of luck. It can go, and this is good. This is usually good luck, and it's good fortune, perhaps, coming your way. All right, and we have the magician again. So two out of two. This is why we do two decks, right? Two out of two decks we've got sitting here in this line that you guys can manifest. That's how you've walked into this. You can manifest something, some sort of luck, some sort of change, and it's got some sort of nostalgic 
thing but they're still a little bit saddened about their past and perhaps how they're coming into this but we're really manifesting like we're really manifesting here we've got the wheel of fortune changing stuff and perhaps you know but there's a change and there's magic inside of this you've come to this with magic in your hands right okay all right this is how we came into it where are we now where are we now three cards for you three cards for you okay that's fine oh. Thank you. We're sitting down, we're confident. We're sitting down on the table here. Oh, oh, let me take this one oh, again. The world, world changing. All right. So we have what you put in is what you get out. Justice, the scales of justice. All right. You feel like, you know, and the efforts in the solid efforts that you put in. And that's really about manifesting. What are your, what are your solid efforts in your heart and your passion and, and what's driving you? All right, because we've got the well card, right? And this is about manifesting again. This is really strength and strength and liberation. Right, and finding your place in the world and really being passionate about it. And you feel the justice that you've put in is the justice you're going to get. And you're passionate. You've got a lot of faith. You've got a lot of intuition. Like a lot of intuition driving this world, right? Driving, like making the world that you live in, really putting yourself into it. All right, so we do have another change and changing cards, right? Really strong manifest, right? The world is yours. The world's your oyster. And we've got the Wheel of Fortune. They sort of sort of sit together with me, these cards. Like the universe, your cards, your path, all right? Your justice and manifesting in your faith. So you're standing as a strong independent as well, still inside of this. And justice is coming in the balance. And you're waiting for it. You're waiting for the scales. You know that it all moves. And you're waiting for this world to move. And, you, and you're in it. You're creating that. You're part creating that. Okay. So. That's you. What about them? What about them? What have they got going on? One. Oh, page of cups. Mm, love messages. They might have some sort of new love. Maybe some sort of new coming out. Like of, of this page of cups. Just like a water new beginning maybe. Inside of there. Good love. You. And them. Oh, King of Swords. All right, so we've got communication. We've got a lot of court cards on the table. Oof. I'm going to take that one. And the High Priestess. Ooh, all right. So, we've got a, like, this is a really interesting, there's a people, got a lot of people going on in here. This could be other people, possibly. All right, but what we've got is, a, like, um, look up with the love, a lot of messages of love and communication of love in their life. And, you know, there's a, so there's something. And so here we've got the, the king of communication. So it's sort of, again, about justice and those sort of things. But really feeling the right and wrong, right in there, sitting in their own inside of their, this is the just king, all right? But combined with that, we've got the High Priestess. So it's really tapping into the High Priestess. It's really tapping into maybe this spiritual stuff. This may be actually you because this is sort of a similar sort of cards inside of here when we're talking about it. All right, we've got a little bit of passion, but this is communication of ideas and they're going to come to the fore perhaps. Maybe they haven't been talking, but they're coming from a real... The High Priestess is this really nice, strong like uh, connection with your Divine Feminine. You know, so they're connecting with their divine feminine, but they're also coming from this like nice expressive masculine. Like there's a lot of talk in here. There's communication, uh, and maybe they're connecting with a real high, like very, um, very, you know, uh, exoteric knowledge. They're really tapping in. Maybe they're really going through a spiritual journey, and they're on their divine feminine level, like really looking for that. What that is, what that mother energy is, because we've got a strong masculine energy, and then a strong feminine exoteric energy. This is thinking with the mind. This is thinking with the spirit. But we've also got compassionate love coming through. Right, right. That's where they're at at the moment. This is strong, right? Okay. Three cards for the middle. What have we got in the middle of this? What have we got in the middle of this? Hmm. New career moves. We've sort of got this again. Here we are. So we've got a new financial position. We've got new money coming, perhaps. Maybe there's a windfall. All right. Maybe there's career moves, a new, new foundation, a new beginning inside of there. So there's something foundation. A strong foundation is, is moved across. It's not just from you. It's come across into the middle of the reading. Alright, two more. There's one. 
Hmm, judgment waiting for something to happen but we're climbing those stairs right putting the past to rest so there's something that we have been moving on from we're putting the past to rest maybe the judgment of ourselves we're moving on from that have you been waiting for something to happen the world is saying that there's a world change in there waiting for the shift to happen and the judgment to come and we've got the six of cups again six of cups like so reflection on the past and the reunion and what that is and like this emotional reunion with ourselves like what is it that we're we're looking back what did this childhood dream so what are these things and we're moving on right, and that's sitting here next to this page as well so that's really lovely so emotional looking back and we're still got but we're moving on this whatever this is this wheel of fortune is moving on and the judgment is right now and the career moves are happening right now and we're still looking at this like looking in this cupboard looking at these these dreams and these here are transferring from cross here to be these same cards here three times we've had three cards turn up two rows it's excellent double up this is why we do it all right career moves so right in the center of this we're really doing need to make a new foundation now all right and there's a spice that we're going to move past old judgments the world changing and you've got to trust your intuition because this has got a balance and your justice inside of here to make everything happen everything is happening all right it's going to be coming into a new foundation all right they're connecting with their um uh, and this might could be called things too like or some sort of career finance career stuff career stuff like and and it's looking nostalgically and reflecting Ooh, they're looking nostalgically and reflecting and and we're still there so this is still got a lot of love inside saying so there's gonna be a leap there's a paradigm shift just shift back get shit move away from the thing don't sit so closely to it don't, like you can sit back and go right like let's be patient because this has got let's see let's see where this is going three cards for you three cards for you three cards for you a lot of magic in this what did magic make and money manifesting? Three cards for you. I'm going to take the top one. Oh. All right. Communications. End of a communal and communication. All right. So this is the end of a way of thinking. This is the end of a way of communication. All right. This is also like, you know, where you had been the master. You finished off and ending your studies and you just laying down and you're waiting or you're ready to get up and start some new study this is you know there's another card in here it says it's still okay we're still okay right all right but you're going to end communicating the way that you've been communicating there's some sort of like end to that we sit there in a stasis at the end of a communication the end of the way that this has been a new way of thinking so we've gone from the ace through all right so you've gone through a full full cycle inside of there to get to where you are right now all right, and the Six of Cups and Justice and this, this, it's not a dead end. It's like just an end of the way of communicating that you work. Air communications, swords communications, arrows communications. Ooh, the Knight's up there. Player, the Four of Cups. Oh. Somebody might be playing on the side. This is like, that's boredom. Oh, so there could be player energy sitting inside of this. This is a restless spirit. This is the wands, the knight of wands. He hasn't settled down. He's, he's settled down's filthy, actually. And they're bored with their emotions, all right? They're not, they're, the attraction's not sitting there. Let me put that over there. Could be you. Could be them. Could be both of you. That this is sitting bored. Something's not sitting. All right. All right, used to. Ten of Pentacles. All right, tens, tens. So we're finishing cycles. All right, this is actually really manifesting. This is really having that. This is really your dreams. This is really putting, you know, we go from the one to the ten in this cycle. It's big. It's like, you know, this is really, you've ended like at a time, time of communication. And this is a time of plenty. This is a time of like um, a bound. Like it's bountiful and it's your legacy and it moves into community and spirit and you know a loving home and how you reflect with your family and everybody within that realm i and your companions inside of your, your friends and family and your home this is a real home card all right we're ending a way of communication and we've gone through we've been communicating ourselves as this spiritual being this this intuitive black woman this queen right and it's going to manifest it manifests right and an end of a way of talking all right one more for you what have we got? Let's play energy on the side's interesting, isn't it, everybody? All right, two more. One more for you. One more for you. Maybe you need to get frisky. Maybe you're bored. Maybe everybody needs to get a bit frisky. They're bored. 
keeping your eyes on the stars, right? This is going to manifest you, manifesting your own dreams, right? We come from the Ace of Pentacles through to the world here and manifesting your own dreams inside of it. This can be very Aquarius energy, right? This is really um, tapping into your wishes and wish fulfillment and stuff, right? We're going to end the way that we were thinking, talking, thinking and talking before. Like we're really talking about what we want as a as a long term fulfillment and and wish fulfillment inside of you. Big, big, big. Where are they at now? Where where's this gone for them? Where's this where's it gone? Where's the energies? Where's it at, people? Alright, it's time for you guys to get frisky. Four of cups, because you're bored. You're emotionally bored. Or there's player energy in the house, but it's really got to do with you two. Because they're the king of wands. Alright, they're the king of wands. You've got the queen of wands. They've got the king of wands. You've evolved and you want your dreams. They've got these kids. They want their dreams. They've got passion. They've got passion in their pants and they ain't afraid to show it. These guys are sexy and they know it, right? And it's got to do with their uh, willpower and their drive and them wanting to get the things that they're passionate about. Like, And they've got the desire. Alright, so they're going to move from this emotional and actually now show it as a passionate state. All right, whoa, 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 I'll take that one. Healing, we've got temperance, this angel of temperance, very Sagittarian energy, all right? So we've got this healing, and that's good. Just go with our Aquarian energy banner. This is the angel of temperance, and we've got wish fulfillment going on. This is really sexy. This is really sexy. All right. Okay. You may not be communicating the... But this is all comes into a real interesting space because this is a hero rampant. This is marriage. This is a marriage card, right? So they're going to want to heal this. They want to come forward. They're going to want to come forward inside of this. There's a lot of magic inside of this. New career moves is where we're at. Like we're still looking nostalgically at this relationship, right? But this is this wish fulfillment, and there's a strength of commitment and marriage inside of this, and they're healing and they're willing to heal. Whew. King and queen of fire on the table okay and that's the place that you've been brought to that's where you're at now and they're going to step up and become the king inside of this all right there's really this dipping your toes in the water of healing and that lagoon spending a little bit of time there they're still there but there's a commitment and this is contracts again to this whole idea like the hero front that is sitting on the table for us there right all right so last but not least what's the energy in the middle where's it going all right i think it's time for you to get frisky take a leap like the shift the paradigm it's all about shifting the way of thinking interesting that these are bended up together this air paradigm here and this here we've shifted the way we were thinking it's a change of paradigm right these believe it or not are still the same card right there's a shift of paradigm there's a shift of communication there's a shift of way of thinking that's been going on all right three more cards what have we got left for this middle energy inside of this hot hot tea that we're sipping on today okay three cards in the article deck please one Still a little bit of shuffling going on why not so i do have some other teas there is some self-love teas there which are actually nice sweet hot sweet hot stuff just for you and there i have been doing tiktoks if you haven't seen them i throw them on my facebook and I do do personal readings if you're after one. Let's see what this card is. Oh, there's two. That's what we're reading. All right. Stress and anxiety. Oh, the nine. Oh. All right. In my deck, this is about dedication. This is about dedicating your thoughts. Like, and so this is a step on from struggle. All right. But this is a really about, I guess, this is talking about stress and anxiety, <coughs> which you might have. <coughs> All right, so there might be a bit of communication that you still aren't having because here we're still sitting back in here. All right, there's a shift in the paradigm of the communication. It hasn't changed the energies necessarily, the outcomes, but there is a shift in the paradigm. There's some stress and, and it's about being really dedicated to this. What are you dedicated to? What are you dedicated to your thoughts, right? The stress and the anxiety, and we're going to put that in the middle card because we've got two over here. All right, 
shown your power and I'm gonna put this over on this side on your side all right so this is own your power like this is really about making decisions for yourself decisions of faith right and there is a bit of stress and anxiety when we create new beginnings and maybe there's a lot of expectations and we need to be past some of that you need to own it you need to own some of it like and own your decisions inside of this in and getting your wish fulfillment nobody else can do that for you all right and how we work on this all right so how are we communicating a little bit is through stress and anxiety at the moment but one more card let's see let's see because we do have magical stuff on the table and there is an outpouring and there's a lot of emotional stuff they literally have gone through this journey where they're like really been like the hurt their heart was hurt they really knew who they are was the strength of the person and manifesting stuff but their heart was really hurt in the middle of all of that right and so they've been going through this healing this is here and there and they're really ready to make a commitment inside of this or there's you know a big and there's a contractual and this is healing and it's healing them and the strength of their being and their passion and it's taking all of that Right, and so we are sitting in the strength of a moment inside of here of trying to manifest dreams, trying to manifest, you know, this strength of these, this home and these wishes and the world changing. All right, one more card. What have we got left to go? One more card from the Oracle deck, please. What have we got to tell? One more card in this. I love this. Take a leap of faith, though. You've got to change your perspective. It's really about a shift of paradigm. All right, we're still healing. Wisdom of solitude. All right, so we're still stepping back. There's still a healing moment in here. You guys are still separated. You can tell so. There's a nostalgic stuff from the past. There's healing that's still going on. The world is changing and you are looking for your own decisions, your own wish fulfillment inside of this. All right, but there's a hermitage phase still going on in here. This is still healing. This is still like of passion and faith. Remembering that there's these frisky energies over here in the middle. So we've got two decisions you can make. You can either fire this up and because there's something bored in the middle of all of this situation or this has got there's there's a third party this has got frisky energy somebody might not be faithful this has got bachelor energy to it because there's a boredom inside of here and what this actually is so they are making a commitment they are making a commitment to their healing and their faith and their passion but this is still a hermit journey and this is creating anxiety inside of the situation or oh, all right that's really interesting so watch out for this player energy or you know there's something on the side that maybe you're looking at that because you're bored there's something that's not fulfilled inside of here all right but there's you know either and again it could be that you need to frisk it up because you are bored right you're not feeling the you're not feeling it feeling the attraction but what we've got sitting here at the end of this is like there's some decisions that need to be made you need to trust your intuition you need to trust your intuition on the path like and if there's an old outdated way of thinking that needs to go and it's not good and, and it's about bringing your wish fulfillment bringing your wish fulfillment into play inside of here all right there has to be a leap of faith inside of this there is a perspective and there is a common ground in the middle of this somewhere in there there's a dedication of thought that one this one from here to the nine right the dedication of our thoughts and what that is and what the power of our purpose is and so you might be still going through a hermitage but there is wish fulfillment on the way all right so there, there's still a bit of hermitage to go and i guess you know that's sort of part of the time at the moment but it's looking into yourself and looking into what's going on so who knows what tomorrow brings my people i hope that you've enjoyed this if you like it please hit like and subscribe and please comment if this resonates with you and where you're at with this hot hot tea thank you very much ciao for now